Hi everyone and welcome to my video. So this is my final learning project post uh, for the semester and just like how we kind of gave an update during towards like the middle of the semester I wanted to also give one um, at the end. So here's just kind of a video that shows some of my before and after skills with uh, my learning project which was crocheting for this one. So um, I'm just showing here an example of my double crochet with the Bernay blanket. So that's my braided blanket. So, so far I'm almost done with this pattern. I just have a couple more rows to do. And then I have to decide whether I want to do a fringe uh, at the end of it or like a border throughout the whole thing. And here's just a short clip of my example of afterwards. So um, I just wanted to kind of show a short video that just kind of shows the speed of which that I could do it now. So like, of course, this blanket, it's uh, a beginner pattern, so it is pretty easy. It only has about three or four different stitches, depending on how you look at it. And so this is just my uh, example of my double crochet going through. So it's... um building up pretty fast honestly i know that i've heard some people don't necessarily like the uh, blanket yarn uh, for blankets a lot of people like to go for the number four worstest uh, instead of the number six kind of super bulky i do really like it though honestly because i think that it's super fluffy super big super soft and it builds up really fast which is always nice you know especially for beginner projects like that it's a really good introduction towards it and because uh, the yarn is so thick and fluffy like that it gives really good stitch definition so you can kind of um yeah i just overall had a lot of fun working with this one of course i'm not done with it yet um i almost am though so i'll be sure to provide an update maybe I'll just throw a picture up um afterwards So this here is an example of my magic circle. So the magic circle is something that I have to do a number of times for this other pattern that I'm working on. And that one is the Yarnspirations Llama No Drama pattern. So this is my very first time ever working with Aragumi, which is a, um, basically it's like a yarn craft with little stuffies that you can make. Um, so this one, uh, this pattern specifically, ended up being a lot bigger than I thought it would be. So it has been a lot of work going into it. I'm not quite finished with the pattern yet, um, but I have finished the head and the body. So I just have his legs, his uh, tail, his ears, and then his little blanket left to do. So, um, and I've done like the biggest part of it now. So the ending shouldn't be that, that, that. Uh, but with the, with the magic circle, you could see like it's a it's a little bit awkward. It might be for a video. Um, I would say that the it's a little bit um, too much slack that I'm giving in. Like you would probably want to make it um, a little bit more tight when you're working with Aragumi, and has to be really tight. Single crochet stitches usually is what people do, and uh, that's because it makes the stitches really tight and. Um, you're more less or sorry less likely to have uh, stuffing falling out of it afterwards so for the single uh, the magic circle sorry basically what it is is that it's a circle that overlays into itself so that you're crocheting six single crochets on top of the circle and then when you pull uh, the remaining end piece there it goes into a tight little circle that's really nice um, so this is my after words and uh, so I'm a little bit better at making them now uh, as you could tell like I'm no longer using my whole hand I'm instead using just a couple fingers and just pulling it nice and tight there so um, that makes it a little easier to work with honestly using uh, just the front portion of your hand instead of your full hand and uh, as you see over here so I'm going over weighing over the top and instead this time what I'm doing um, as I went right over and pulled that stitch through, making a um, 
locking the circle before I pulled it from my hand. So last time I pulled it from my hand and then I locked the circle. This time I locked it and then I pulled it from my hand. So it was a little easier to work with there. And as you could see, um, it's still a little bit awkward to work with, honestly, magic circles. But uh, I do believe that I have a much better grasp at it than I did earlier on in the semester. And uh, so that's again just the six single crochets in the same circle and then you just pull them up. So that um, basically is the start of the pattern for a number of features on the llama. So his head, his body, his legs, and you build up from there. So that's kind of like your beginning pattern. So that's why you want to make it nice and tight. Make sure that the stuffing doesn't go through there. Make sure that the circle doesn't come undone. and. Um, you know, a really good way to do that is to get that end piece there and stitch it back into the pattern after you're done making the circle. So there we go, almost done with those six stitches. You'll see I'm counting it up there because I lost track of my counts with only six, funnily enough. But, you know, that's uh, not too bad. You could always go and recount the stitches afterwards. And uh, so I'm adding another one on here. And then when you pull it through, you'll see that it forms a nice tight little circle there and that gives a really good base. So for the llama no pattern, no drama pattern, um, it, the first stitch is basically a chain of 10 going back into the single crochets. So for this one, like I honestly did struggle with this pattern a lot, especially near the beginning of the semester. I kind of put it away for a little bit and worked towards the blanket more while I got the basic stitch definitions now and then the basic stitches down. And then uh, I think it was around like the midway point throughout the semester is when I actually picked it back up again. So as you can see, there's two, this is one single stitch. There's a top and a bottom. And I'm going through just the bottom with that 10 chain to create that first stitch and that like pops it up near the front. And then at the end of it, I would uh, go into the back loop only with another single crochet. And that just uh, pushes it more to the front and uh, gives it that nice, and it's also kind of nice because then you're not uh, doing the chain 10 every single one and it's only every uh, third one. So overall, this pattern has been great to work with honestly and I hope to have it finished pretty soon. I'll definitely provide an update for that.